I'm making this tape for you because when I spoke to you this afternoon about this material, you seemed interested in a way that I think everybody should be, but most people who I talk to aren't. And I thought not only would it be very difficult for you to explain our conversation to someone else without actually having the material available, but um, this might help you to see the material and access the material at a later date in case um, you wanted to get someone else's help. And it's certainly not anything but an introduction to the material that exists. But my blog is not the easiest thing to apprehend. Although everything is there, it would be very time consuming, even for me to go through it and start from scratch. Now, this is a picture on the U.S. San Jacinto, in which ship my father was, and um, so was George Bush. And notice that the they were dressed as pirates at sea when they put on a masquerade party. And the man with the star resembles Ringo Starr. I was born in Pittsburgh, so the relevance of the pirates uh, um, being part of a thinking plan by um, the World War II veterans is um, something that I have had to consider when giving thought to the question of how I ended up with the Texas school book after I was kidnapped and tortured as a child. A fact that Pittsburgh conspired also to deny and make a joke of. Now, if you actually go into my father's obituary, however, he did really dislike Germany. So my father may not have necessarily been involved in this. The back of his obituary has something about the greenie of Germany. And if you look closely, it talks about injecting people in a sense on the name don't know who. They lured me to Mount Desert Island for a second Holocaust experiment involving what they claimed was a scared straight program, or the British called um, an experience park. But they had kidnapped and tortured me once already as a child and gassed me in a place called King's Estate, which is like King's Heavenly Estate. And the letters I got came from Israel. Now, if you look at my records in the Pitt News in the 1980s, I was writing 40 years ago, ecology letters, 30 years ago, ecology letters. Oh, it's been almost 40 years. And I was chased out as an object of derision by a man who was organizing a gang, for also an Israeli, who recently, as recently as COVID, was arrested on an $8 million museum heist. He ended up on the cover of um, Smithsonian Magazine. So what brought me to Tacoma was homelessness caused by these Israelis who chased me out of Pittsburgh and made a joke of me for my ecology work. And most people, despite my being vindicated, um, look at the archives that I've assembled and see it as basically grounds for um, having made a joke of me. Now, one of the most important things to have access to is what I told you about, which was the symbol for the Neva Corporation. 
which is a gigantic pornography corporation from Japan. They used the sea and the star of David. This is relevant when you get to the Texas school book, because in the letters, this is the, the Neva Corporation, the girl who seduced me when I was just a child, was a, to make it me frightened of telling anyone that they had tortured me, was named Neva. And her sister Dee Dee is named in the Texas school books. And as you can see, Neva is the name of this corporation. Neva Mancine, which is like cinema of Manson. It's a snuff film organization. And when they took me to the shack, an eye popped in a hole in the window and looked in just exactly like this. So you need to have access to these things to see what I'm driving at. And this tape should give you access to the sufficient material to understand what it is that they've done. Now, I once saw a movie, it was a fiction movie, What If Hitler Had Won? And in the movie, Joe Kennedy is president of the United States instead of FDR. And when he goes to Germany, somebody throws a file through the window of the limousine with pictures of the concentration camps that no one ever knew about in this um, alternative history. Well, this is a very similar situation, only the difference is that Joe Kennedy is shocked and drives away and refuses to meet with the Fuhrer. Most people, when they see this, just let it go by so they didn't even see it. This is a naval barracks in California, seen from an aerial view of a naval barracks seen in California. And um, I want to remind you of a few things, so you may not know these things. But this man had a namesake making movies. In other words, there was a man named Charles Bronson making movies in Dealey Plaza, the limousine when they shot JFK. And a lot has been made JFK's private life. The idea of genocide pornography was to put people on trial for the guilt of their private lives. And this is the semiotic system that exists in, uh, uh, that I detected in the background of a number of movies. And they're very consistent. For example, the Odessa file opens up on November 22, 1963. And the word Oswald, you can see over here, appears on the screen. You could see any copy of a Odessa file that you get your hands on, you will see that as they're announcing over the radio the death of JFK, the name Oswald morphs to the name Ronald. And it leads to a bedroom scene where he says to her, know what you could get for the picture of that assassination? So what they did was they set up a film within a film, and it crosses international boundaries. The film that they told became detectable as a super story. Here's another example of the pattern. That's Reagan holding his head. He says, well, I was out there in front for a while. Then he says, then bang, there I was flat on my can. Now you're going to remember this day for an awfully long time. It's a pattern. This is a picture taken in a naval mess hall with John Wayne and Lee Harvey Oswald in the background in the kitchen. It's important to understand that this does cross international boundaries. 
This is a Japanese film in which this woman is wearing a shirt that has the number 45 for the last year of World War II. Champ, 63. You see? 63, the year that Oswald was killed. It's consistent throughout. The cinema arrangements of this superculture and that is not all there is to it. It's just that the Texas school book is an explanation for killing Kennedy, but it is also an explanation for killing Kang and for the AIDS Holocaust. Here was this January 1964 um, magazine, Jet. And what they have is a crack and a slice, a bleak stroke through the body of Kang. And he's being eyed suspiciously by a woman who looks like Coretta. Well, over here, there's an Im on, on the other side, there's an image of two women that sort of look like one woman. And there's a man behind them with a the camera being peeping Tom in judgment. This is an image of marital infidelity. So they were depredating on the um, liberty and freedom of people who um, didn't want to be trafficked and wanted their um, freedom respected. I'll give you another example of what I came across. My counselor in Pittsburgh told me I was cherry picking when I said that this resembled rather us with the US over the swastika. It's a German headquarters. And she, when I showed her how it has the US over the swastika, she said I was cherry picking. Well, so I looked at it closer, frame by frame. And this image appears on the screen. You don't see it looking at it because it goes by much too fast for you to detect it. But it appears on the screen. It is not photoshopped. This is, I didn't photoshop this. This appears on the screen. And what you see is it goes by too fast to, to, to detect, but it has the U.S. over the swastika with a bust of Hitler and Reagan sitting right next to it, next to Errol Flynn, who was meeting with Hitler during World War II. And if you wonder what I think of Obama and Biden, look at the sticker they put on the library after they used me for this. The joke's on you. When they chased me out of Pittsburgh, they were um, fans of Shulman, who was later caught in an $8 million museum heist. Let me read something to you from um, Franklin Graham's um, book, Worth Fighting For. Every contra had a nickname. If you, ever, uh, if you were caught by the sound of the news, his names wouldn't be revealed. One man in Cha Chaplin's court was called Hitler. He had been an executioner in the Contra Army. Apparently, his cohort shows his name because he's very proficient in his duties. Hitler was one of uh, the young, promising young chaplains, blah, blah, blah. One day, he says, now Hitler will give an announcement. Hitler stood up and said, my name is no longer Hitler. That's fine, Reuben said. Hitler's going to, no, no, my, that's not my name anymore. What is your name? He says, call me Lazarus, for I'm back from the dead. And across the street from where I was gassed was a house of a woman named Jenny Rubin, whose likeness appears on the Neva Corporation um, record. Uh, I mean, see DVD. Now, I think I have a, a, a page from the Texas School Book here somewhere. If I don't get to that, 
um, you can find it online. Um, I wish I was more organized than I am, but in the Texas School Book, which you can find at texasschoolbook.weebly.com. Our archives from the um, Mount Desert Island um, Moore game. Now, in this, it talks about Deity Mancine and the murder of Martin Luther King. The essence of the problem is that they use the people who ran on and included John and Yoko. And that's where the Houdini, her, uh, Errol Flynn lived in Laurel Canyon with um, Houdini. And they're playing a game, war game known as Two Virgins. And the Two Virgins is encrypted in all sorts of things that they do. If you doubt me that it was John Lennon, look at the cover of Robert Fripp's album. You see there's a likeness of Gail Burst and the girl who penned the Texas school book from Israel by a swimming pool in a striped coat like the doll on the cover of Sgt. Pepper's. Now the swimming pool image of two virgins comes up in a telltale clip of cinema that I have online, an alias little boy. Then this girl comes and spreads her legs, and um, a Ringo Mesmer comes by to observe. And they have, um, it's a clip which leads to basically the trial of um, the infidelitous individual who um, is a, a persona unnamed. But the people who did this released the anthrax. In fact, above the towers on the day as the planes collided, this is Diamonda Gullis. She was in a friend of Kim Kardashian and Yoko Ono, who was in um, demonics and immunogenetics in the 70s. So this all predates even the death of Lenin. And a, a, a namesake of hers named Daya called me to announce Lenin's um, Houdini. She called me to claim that he was dead. And I was living with Obama's director of Afghan army operations at Temple University. So if you doubt that um, this could possibly have been John Lennon, think again, because if you look at, remember I told you I was in DC the day Reagan claims to be shot. He came out and waved to me. It's in CBS News films. And they gave me, his attorneys had me there. They gave me a brochure. There's no such thing as objective reality, only what the juries believe. And they're keeping this under wraps and not warning anybody because they say there's money in it. And that the money belongs to Yoko Ono. But as you can see, the two men closest to Reagan and Lennon were lookalikes of each other. They look like Sir Richard, Queen Elizabeth's cousin. And if you look at another image of from Anne Rand, um, We the Living back in the 50s, when she was a specialist in science fictions about the special disappearing acts of what she called prime movers. You see, she's not only cupping her hands over her ears, but it says it would be just like starting over, which was the name of his last song. It would be like starting over. And, and this has been completely ignored by the police. So, I have a clip in Alias Little Boy channel. It has a man, a Japanese man. He, his eye, he there's a bright light and his, he blinks. And then the man on the phone he's talking to says, Ah, oh, so, Pittsburgh. So, what they had in mind, her name was Gail Burston, Gail Carolyn Burston, Gail Christmas Caroling Bombs Burston, was the name of the girl who's by the swimming pool. 
the lookalike, the girl who wrote the Texas school book. She was a friend of Ruben and um, and John Shulman. And this is one of the pornography companies. You know, the, the threatening New York with the atom bomb. And um, this, they, they used VNR planning for victory and revenge planning. Notice Reagan with the Ruth at Bitburg Belson. If you talk to the Beatles, they say, oh, no, Reagan was the hero. He was John Lennon's friend. And these Israelis who were in neurosurgery, neurosurgeons screamed for more. Notice there's something about the promised land in a cartoon I drew at the age of nine when they used the nerve agent on me and tortured me and gassed me. They exposed me to King Crimson's first album. So they were, they were planning this all along. Flip out talking to Mark Mark. He's a boffin. That means a special weapon scientist. She says that's more than a genius. More than a genius. Okay. And Cruel Gun Story also came out in 63 to get them onto the street. You see, they rerouted the motorcade. And the killers, Reagan's film that was being made, has intonations of the system that they were working. But Yoko Ono's Confederates, see how he has Mac on his collar? They've been trying to call on me, so I was to blame for it. And justify the way they tortured me. And they've incited the Black Panthers and the Seattle Queer. So you can't get anyone around here to talk any sense about it because they're all licky chops, like that man in the Odessa file. Know what that's going to be worth? And Yokohama has them all in her purse because of the Houdini that Lennon pulled. It was all a double fantasy. And that's why it's relevant to discover that they were planning this from the um, early 20th century. Bly Sanders, P.D. Wispanski, D.W. Griffith. If you put D.W. Griffith and Walt Disney, who was very important in selecting and promoting Adolf Hitler, Adolf and Walt Disney worked to, together. And Mussolini was very important in American cinema. His son was... Two, the futurists and the Cubists talked about the fourth dimension. And they had a mind, a deluge. They've been planning this um, deluge. You have the angry old man like Carell. I mean, I just found information that shows that the Wagner group was here in 1974 working with Reagan on the Texas school book. That's Oswald was in Russia. So you have... The angry father group of the fundamentalists who were very important in the AIDS attack. You have the money bags, the oligarchs, the billionaires who leapfrog across nation state lines. And you have the illusionists from cinema working together in a, what they consider to be a fourth dimensional super production. You know, an Old Testament angry God um, super production leading to this deluge. And it's, it's no joke. They really did do this.